All right, folks, gather round because we're diving into the wild world of investing in options and derivatives. Now, I know what you're thinking, options? Derivatives? That sounds more confusing than trying to navigate IKEA without the map, but fear not. Because I'm here to break it down for you in a way that even your grandma's bridge club can understand. So, let's start with options. Think of it like making a bet with your buddy Steve on who's gonna win the big game. You're not actually buying the team, you're just betting on whether they'll win or lose. Options work kinda like that, except instead of betting on sports, you're betting on the future price of stocks. It's like playing the stock market with training wheels. Now, derivatives are like the eccentric cousin of options. They're a bit more exotic, let's say. Derivatives derive their value from something else, hence the name. It's like if your friend Karen made a copy of a copy of a copy of that famous painting she saw in a museum and tried to sell it as the real deal. It's a bit of a gamble, but hey, sometimes you hit the jackpot. But before you go all in and start throwing your life savings into the options and derivatives pool, Remember this golden rule, don't invest money you can't afford to lose. I mean, you wouldn't bet your life savings on a game of rock paper scissors with a toddler, would you? Well, maybe some of you would, but that's a story for another day. And speaking of stories, let me tell you about the time I tried my hand at options trading. I thought I was a regular Gordon Gecko, ready to conquer Wall Street with my brilliant strategies. Long story short, I ended up more like a lost puppy in a hedge fund maze. But hey, at least I learned that sometimes it's better to stick with the basics than to get fancy with your investments. So, there you have it folks. A crash course in options and derivatives that hopefully didn't leave your head spinning faster than a tilt-a-whirl. Just remember to do your research, invest wisely, and maybe keep Steve away from your investment decisions. After all, he's still trying to figure out how to win that bet on last year's Super Bowl.